Growing up, I had dreams and aspirations, but always felt like the kid that didn't fit in. For the most part, I wasn't a bad kid, but when I made the transition into adulthood, I turned to the streets for guidance. This led to getting locked up in juvenile hall, doing time in CYA, and eventually a 120 month sentence in federal prison. I had a lot of time to think and reflect during my federal sentence. So I share with you what I learned, hoping I can positively influence someone else's life with Prison Talk. What up? Big Herc 916. Getting down with Fresh Out. Hit that subscribe button, that like button, share the channel. And go to FreshOutSeries.com and grab you some soap so you can wash that ass. You know how we do it over here? You don't want to bust cheeks with a smelly ball sack. You know, everybody was um, celebrating and cheering when they heard about the Tates getting arrested. And, uh, you know, I find it amusing that people take so much interest in seeing somebody fall that was shining, um, actually being a voice for young men who have no voice. And, um, you know, I'm just sitting back to see how all the cards play out because there's a lot behind the scenes that people don't know about. And, um, you know, everybody is at this point kind of just speculating. Um, you know, the charges, they say human trafficking, uh, money laundering. Um, if those are, in fact, the charges that they use to go and, you know, exercise the search warrant, then, you know, they have to have probable cause. And, um, you know, I wish my man the best as far as defending himself because I look at, you know, you're innocent until proven guilty. But uh, a lot of the beta boys, a lot of the soy boys, they want to see this man fall because they don't have anything to stand by they have nothing they feel makes them uh a masculine so they, they they love to say that this guy is toxic masculinity and uh I'm, i met tristan and andrew before they even blew up on social media you know they had reached out to me i met with them we conversated with no cameras rolling or none of that and i found both of them to be very humble you know, real dudes, you know, guys out there hustling, doing their thing in Romania, um, you know, work themselves up through the ranks, establish their, their, their brands, their businesses. And, um, you know, when I was talking to them, they weren't even really, you know, involved in social media like that. I think he might have just have done, maybe, I, don't, I can't remember if he had already done the Big Brother over in Europe or over in England, whatever, but, um, just really cool dudes, man. Great conversation. And, um, you know, I've kept in touch with them um, just here and there. But, um, you know, they, they, they want men at this point to not feel like they have anything to stand for. And um, there's very few male role models on social media outside of them pushing, you know, uh, gangster rappers who are getting indicted every, every week, it seems like for, for criminal activity, you know, as far as men, you know, taking charge, protecting their family, having values, talking about things that mean something. There's very few men that do that. You know, a lot of the men are victim now. They're, they're, they're always complaining. They, they are emotional. They, have all these issues and um, the competitiveness is gone. You know, they're uh, simping to these, these women out here who are talking bad about them and there's no respect. And, you know, Tristan and Andrew were trying to bring some respect back to manhood and um, show that, you know, it's all right to actually you know, have this, these adversity challenges in life and to overcome them and to stand for something. And, um, you know, one thing is when you're, when you're speaking out and you're vocal, 
and you're, you know, you're, you're tapping at the door of the establishment who have a narrative, you know, you, you get a lot of people who, who want to see you fall, man. And that's one of the things that you got to watch out for when you're, you know, ascending that ladder, um, you know, trying to make a name for yourself, but you're doing it in a way that's very vocal, you know, though that's one of the things, you know, people are, you know, people are gun, you know, they're gunning for you. And, um, there's so many of these, uh, guys on social media who they don't want to see anybody that's, um, that's talking about any substance, you know, anybody that's actually defending being a man because they really don't want strong men in the world anymore. You know, not over here in the Western civilization. They want these guys in over here to be, you know, tucking their tails. And um, that's, uh, that's something that they spoke out against. And, um, you know, I'm not saying everything he said would I, I would uh, necessarily say out of my mouth, but I felt that he he expressed himself in a manner that was um, well put for for his position, and he accomplished a lot, man. Going from you know not being born with a silver spoon in his mouth to creating this this brand, you know, that was worldwide, and um, you know he did it well. So um, we'll see how this all plays out, man. And um, I wish him and I wish Andrew and, you know, Tristan the best, man. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are going to be making comments, saying different things, trying to judge these guys. They want to see them go down, you know. And it's just, <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty pathetic, man. A lot of people, man, they, they hate to cheer for somebody doing well. You know, it's like the guy in the Lambo. Oh, he's a douchebag, or the guy that looks like he works out. Oh, he's a meathead, or the guy who who um, who wants to uh, you know protect the Second Amendment. Oh, he wants to be a cowboy. It's like, dude, you can't be anything that has any strength to it. You just got to be a damn weenie. That's what they want—a bunch of weenies, man. And um, I, I think it's pretty pathetic, man. A lot of these cats, man, just just nothing but they ain't they ain't got a uh, uh, a strong bone in them. They let somebody come and slap the shit out of them and then get mad because, um, you know, the dude did it. <laughs> but they, they instigated it because they run their mouth. These dudes run their mouth. And then when they get called on it, they're like, don't hit me. Then shut your mouth. But, um, yeah, man, um, this tape thing, we're going to see how it plays out. I, I just find the timing kind of ironic. You know, all the stuff that went down on Twitter beforehand. But um, who knows? You know, a lot of this stuff is um, news that's concocted, created, fabricated. And we'll see what happens. But, um, you know, I could sit here and say that, like I said, I, I've talked with them before they even got to this point where they were, you know, really social media icons. And um, I thought they were, you know, real dudes. They were straight up. You know, it wasn't nothing funny style, wasn't no, nothing that was uh, um, dishonest that I found with them. And, um, you know, I'm going to wish them my best, man. So, Big Herc 916, fresh out. I'm Big Hurt, and I have over a decade of experience in the prison system. Yeah, I've done a lot of time, made a lot of stupid mistakes, but that's why I'm here with you today, educating you on the Mastermind program by Fresh Out. See, they don't give you a manual when you go to jail on how to survive. They don't tell you how to go take a shower, where to sit at when you go to chow, what to do when you have mail call, how to handle your commissary. See, we cover that and a multitude of other topics that are very important. Because if you do the wrong thing, you can get your damn wig split. We have over 100 million views as of date on our YouTube channel, but we've put and condensed all this knowledge into this mastermind program 
so that you can provide your client with a winning chance. Do yourself a favor and your client a favor and sign them up for our program so they don't have to get their wig split and they can make it out alive. Stop walking around with a crusty butt, smelly ball sack, and a funky hoo-ha. Big Herc said wash that ass. Pick you up a t-shirt at FreshOutSeries.com. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com.